Hi, my name's Ian. Welcome to the channel. If you've not been there before and you have been there before, then welcome back. This is part seven of the two week Canary and cruise that we went on back in December. And in this particular video, we're on the island of Tenerife and gone on a 26 mile bike ride with our cycle guide, Nim. There's just myself and Leanne on the bikes with Nim, so uh, they made the ride quite a bit more interesting than some of the other rides we've been on. But uh, yeah, we head up into the hills and go to the old capital of La Laguna and then cycle back down into Santa Cruz and then back into the port. Before the video starts, it'd be fantastic if you could like and subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell for further videos. So without further ado, let's don our cycling shorts or trousers in my case, put on our cycle helmets and head for the hills of Tenerife. Oh, good morning. You join us out on a cycle tour in Santa Cruz. The views are absolutely stunning at the top of here. We're out on e bikes currently in what's called turbo mode to get up these hills. If this was on normal bikes, I would have been uh, probably part way up, panting my head off. As it stands, I'm slightly out of breath. But bearing in mind this is probably about a one in four hill. Doing pretty good. So we're going to be stopping here. Go out to walk in the park. Yeah. Yeah. So we are very honoured to be on your last cycle ride in Tenerife. Yes. Thank you so yes. much for joining us. Yes. Today. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll have a party. Yes. Why yeah. <laughs> not? Oh, that's one cracking view. Whew. 
Oh, she decides to stay down there. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I know we are only three to left, but I'm very bad with names. Ian. Ian. Yeah. Ian and Leanne. Leanne. Yeah. <laughs> or, just, or just call her the missus. Oh, okay. Missus. <laughs> the missus. Yeah. yeah. Ian and, and the missus. Don't forget her name. <laughs> <laughs> The way to break there is to break it up with yeah, the two names. So it's L -A -N -E. it's L E A N N E. Yeah. But if you just think of two different names like Lee and Anne and just put the two together. Oh, I know. That's the easy way of doing it. So you're going to call Lee or Anne? Yeah. Or Leanne. Or, as I said, or the Mrs. or Oi. Oi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anne. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> you guys are fun. <laughs> Well, oh, these steps are a bit sketchy. <laughs> oh, well, that breeze is lovely. Yeah, apparently this is the last cycle tour that they're doing at the moment in Tenerife. So uh, we're uh, honoured to be the last tour of this at the moment. So apparently they're taking Santa Cruz off. a uh, cycle tour which is a shame because the scenery is absolutely fantastic up here I mean we've been climbing up and up I don't know whether the boat's visible in the in the camera but um, we've been climbing for quite a while but on these e-bikes I must say you just don't really know you're coming up and down hills yep it's uh, quite possible we're going to be going on another cycle tour in a few days time in Fong Chal in Madeira come in no, no, right. Ooh, completely wrong gear no, no. Ooh. why is my bike not working Houston, I have a problem! Looks like my bike's uh, electric mode decided to pack up. The electric mode's packed up. Ha, ah, I turned it off, it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh no, it's showing an error. Error. Are you struggling while pedaling? Yeah, I can't, I can't come up the hill. It won't work. Can I try it? Yeah. It started, it, it started working yeah. and then just stopped. Ah, could be that. Because that's like a sensor on it, isn't it? It needs like turning off and rebooting, doesn't it?
Yeah, I've shown it now, yeah. Perhaps you just got that thing got knocked to do it. Yeah. The uh, twiddly, the twiddly thing. Twiddly thing problem. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? How it's one that what how that what, how that little thing there can upset the whole bike, isn't it? I know. <laughs> you wanted to do this hill twice anyway, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was enjoying it, so yeah. Hey, if, it, if a hill's worth doing, it's worth doing twice, isn't it? Yeah, we're all right now. We're going. Yeah. I was trying to shout you and you kept going. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's like Anaconda movie. Yeah. The one behind gets lost every Yeah, that's it. At least it's that at least it would have been downhill all the way back. <laughs> oh, that's better. I'm near the away from the edge. Wow. You're right there, Leanne. You okay? She doesn't like steep drops. No. I love them. <laughs> Do you want to go in the middle, Leanne? Okay. You know what? Having this, mo this this mode on this bike to do this makes cycling really fun. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it just takes that. Oh my god, it's another hill out of it. Yeah, I still felt that. Oh yeah, I felt yeah, it. I did it the way I felt a normal bike. No, that's right. Yeah. So where we were sat having breakfast this morning in the boat, we could see this road yeah, all the way along there. Yeah. yeah. Now exactly from here. Yeah. You can see the, the <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, you see the bull ring there. So Tenerife was. Ah. Yeah, Tenerife was the first. Uh, island in Canaries to stop the bullfighting. Ah, right. Yeah, to yeah. stop the bullfighting. So oh, yes, yeah, that's it down there. Stuff, so. yeah, ball ring Just down there. Good. Yeah, quite nice structures, really. Yeah, I know. And uh, over there, mm -hmm. somewhere, um, is La Laguna. I think near that, that muddy mountain. La Laguna. So it's an absolutely beautiful day today. Very nice, the 13th of December. And I think there's snow in England. And even up this hill, it's probably around 23 degrees at the moment. And they're saying there is a nice breeze blowing. Right. Well, 
apologies for any wind noise. Well, so we did a bike ride the other day in Lanza Rossi, but I must say this one actually tops it all completely. This is uh, probably one of the best bike tours I think I've ever been on on these cruises. We've been on quite a few over the years. <laughs> yes. yeah. Fortunately, my wife doesn't like steep drops, so she's uh, having a bit of a uh, bit of a session. <laughs> Whereas me, it just doesn't bother me at all. We were on the cable car uh, a few days ago, been uh, in Madeira, and. Uh, she was not a happy bunny. So I was about heading to Los Campitos. Now I've got a ramp coming up. And as they say in Dutch, let up drempel. This is absolutely beautiful around here. I've always been a bit sceptical about these e-bikes, about the, uh, the fact that I think, in one respect, they're not good for people because it become, makes them become lazy. But on the other hand, when you're out on a cycle ride like this, to have the extra bit of power to get you up the hills, which, you know, when you're getting a bit older and the old ticker starts going a bit, you know, you've got to uh, preserve it. So on a bike ride like this, I mean, we really like doing bike rides in the Lake District where you've got lots of steep hills and uh, I must say, you know, you get to the hills and that you're thinking, oh my god, it's another hill. So I must say with these e-bikes and this turbo mode they've got on them just makes going up hills so much easier and it just makes the bike ride so much more pleasurable. But I think for general use, you know, on flat surfaces and stuff like that, then there's no point in them really. Oops, I'll come in to drop them. Bit of a bouncy road, it's got a few potholes in it. Your roads keep making the camera drop. I can't turn it up anymore. This chest strap might make it better. I was like, up these hills even in turbo mode, it still gets you out of breath a bit, but it just makes it so much easier. As I mentioned on the bike tour that we did in Lanzarote a few days ago, these bike tours are not exactly cheap to do. It's £42 per bike, uh, but you tend to be out for about, or out for six hours the other day in Lanzarote, covered about 30 miles. Uh, today, 
I think we're up for about 25, something like that. But obviously a lot of this is uphill, so it takes a bit longer. But uh, it's just uh, myself and Leanne and uh, the cycle guide out today, whereas the other day I think it was about 15 of us went out. So it was a much slower ride the other day, but uh, we can ride a bit quicker today. But uh, they are a brilliant way of getting out to see the local scenery and get a little bit fit at the same time, especially with the amount of food you tend to eat on a cruise ship. The other thing I complained about the other day about these bicycles was the, the saddle. But I then remembered that I brought my cycling trousers with me, which I've got on today, which are long trousers and they're black in colour. The only downside of that is that my legs are now really, really hot with the sun on them. But I must say, it made the seat far more comfortable. down, stick it into eco mode, or even turn it off, consume some power, or save some power, let's say. A little drain power. Ow. Tarmac out on these roads is fantastic, generally, apart from through that little village where there's a few potholes, but uh, compared to England, these roads are uh, absolutely beautiful. Now we're just cycling through the streets of Tenerife's old capital, which is called La Laguna. And at uh, some point here, we're going to be stopping for a break. So I uh, might get a chance to have a bit of a look around. And also, it's beautiful. Some lovely old buildings here. This place is lovely, absolutely beautiful place, isn't it? Wow. 
guys, the place has lot of world famous UNESCO heritage sites. Uh, yeah, so this cathedral is very famous. Unfortunately, it has entrance fee to go inside. Uh, the street where it starts, uh, have you seen the church tower? Uh, I'm yeah, too busy watching pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> We just when we just started a street there is church tower as well. There is a museum nearby right. yeah. and the streets are full, filled with cafes, bakeries, nice smell. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that coffee shop it's very nice. Yeah. Um, if you go there say my hi to Christopher is yeah. my friend. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like coffee from every part of the world. It yeah. has coffee from India as well. Yeah. <laughs> India, Mexico, What's your favourite? the local coffee I liked it. I love Spanish I coffee. Like, yeah, I don't like strong coffee. Uh, yeah. So I asked to give it with milk and yeah. it was nice. So we can have this and we have free time so Yeah. Well I've just had a bit of a stop here in La Laguna and what a beautiful place this is. Hopefully I picked up some video footage of her riding through earlier on. But, uh, if not I've took a load of photographs so I might just stick a few of those in on the footage as well. But, uh, yeah got a real nice vibe to it this place so if you're in Tenerife it's worthwhile coming up here well, we're on our way back down towards Santa Cruz now and it's all downhill I say the breeze is quite nice it's about 25 26 degrees today in the sun but with the wind actually quite nice at the time of recording this I've just spoke to my son at home and it's minus two in the UK I know where I'd rather be well I think we've come down most of the hills now back onto sort of more level ground I can see the sea in the distance I must say it's been a really good ride this uh, I've not filmed some of the stuff we've just done down through coming down through some of the roads down the hills as the uh, some of the local drivers around here are a bit mental I think it's the, uh, <laughs> the way to put it so you've got to have your eyes in your ear eyes behind you looking we'll absolutely everywhere make sure you're not going to get cleared up by one of them so at least now we're onto a cycle path so that's going nice and safe but we're coming down to um, Santa Cruz Opera House which is like Santa Cruz is the equivalent of the one in Australia, but obviously the one in Australia is far more uh, magnificent, but uh, still quite a good looking structure, you should be able to see it between the trees as we're coming down here now. shallow while it's being picked up you've got all these little faces of all the different stars in the rocks those are the two tallest buildings in Santa Cruz eyesores the way I look at them but, uh, this is uh, what's called the Black Castle. And then over in the distance there uh, used to be a dumping ground but now they've turned it into a uh, into like a gardens. And then over in the distance there is Gran Canaria, where we were yesterday. This is the opera house. built in 2003 apparently. Well, right, heading back down towards the port now. It's the end of the ride. I must say it's uh, been really good. I must say it's uh, clouding over quite a bit at the moment. So I must say it's uh, 
making the, uh, the mountains look quite ominous. Now I've been picked up in the camera. been an absolutely brilliant ride this one. Hopefully at some point uh, I'll put this one back on again because uh, so uh, I think we're the last customers at the moment for this particular ride but as I said if you're uh, going on a cruise, going on a bike tour, it's a great way of seeing the local area I can get a bit of exercise at the same time. Hopefully the camera is picking up where I can see in the distance with these mountains. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Here we are back at the ship. I love the way the, uh, the clouds were hanging over those mountains a while ago there. Did you see it? Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've still got three as well. Yep. Three bars. Three bars. Yes. Good. Thank you guys. Thank yes, you. Thank thank you. With you. We will see you soon. Yes. Not quite sure how clear it is in the footage, but there's a road three quarters of the way up the hill, just above the sort of low area of housing, which is where we cycle today. It's like a it's like a like a striped sort of fence line you can see, and that's where we were today. So I'd say it's going towards the end of the day now. It's uh, absolutely glorious. Still about 23, 24 degrees at 